Let's take a look at some of the new effect plugins as well as a new VST instrument that come with Cubase Pro 12. The new instrument is called Verve, and Verve is a 12 velocity layer felt piano instrument that works inside of Halion Sonic SE, Halion Sonic, or Halion. To load it, we could just come to our instrument sets and we'll see Verve once it's been installed. The user interface for Verve is very easy. So we have kind of a macro page where four kind of global controls where we could adjust the distance in the piano, the balance between a piano sample and a texture variation and contour. We have different settings for the piano or texture where we could load up different textures to layer and an effect section where you have a delay for the piano and the texture and an overall reverb. Now the beauty of this is how it can, how this works in so many different environments, whether you're composing for film or TV or need it to blend into a particular track. So let's go ahead and listen to it by itself. So if I wanted to come and adjust the balance where I wanted to hear only the piano or blend a texture in, so I want more of the texture. And if I wanted to adjust And if I wanted to, again, select different textures or different effects, we could have different reverbs and delays. But we'll listen to this in context. Hold your daddy and call my mom. Said you were too damn good for any so we'll mute this. His sour words are now dead and done. Solo it. So it's the magic glue of an instrument to just kind of fill in all the spaces. Some of the plugins have been updated as well. So we'll take a look at our step filter plugin. So we'll listen to this on an acoustic guitar, which may seem atypical, but we'll go ahead and just listen to it. And as we listen to this, we have new controls to randomize the cutoff and resonance within the step filter. So if we listen to our acoustic guitar here, I'm just gonna blend a step filter in and we'll see some indications in the background here of the random cutoff. And let's say our randomized resonance a bit. The Apogee UV22 has been replaced with a new dithering plugin. So if we want to come over here and we could have a new dithering plugin called the Lin1 Dither. And if you have any projects or track presets that utilize the uh, Apogee UV22 or reference that, they will automatically be set up to utilize the Lin1 dither without having to do any conversion whatsoever. A new limiter has also been included called Razor, and this is a very high quality, transparent, and incredibly fast limiter. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of the controls. So we'll have the ability of doing, of detecting intersample clipping. We could link the two channels and we'll have different release modes, whether it's gonna be manual, auto, or we could have restricted to the minimum, maximum, or aggressive. So let's go ahead and just listen to it. We've been listening to it in this project. Oh, I remember the day that we went. I'll put it onto aggressive. Enable the plug-in now. And our first kiss, there was no regret. Right after that Garth Brooks show, you told your daddy and called my mom. Said you were too damn good for any boy that dumb. His sour words are now dead and dumb. That was a long. So another wonderful tool to have inside of the dynamics options in Cubase. 
The performance meters have also been updated. And while this isn't a plug-in, it's kind of an appropriate time to show it. So now we could differentiate between the performance on the real-time channels as well as channels on ASIO Guard. So we could see the channels that are gonna be monitored and record enabled. We can see the performance differences between those that are playing, uh, that are being used for recording and those that are being buffered through ASIO Guard as well as our peak and our disk cache meters. Now the supervision plugin was introduced in Cubase Pro 11, but there's been five new modules that have been added. So we've added VU meters. In the seventh grade in the school park. So if we wanted to adjust some of our settings where I want to see this be our peak, as well as RMS, and we could change the colors. So I want to be dark mode. Believe me now, I'm so in love with you. Just like more light. We could have a spectrum keyboard where we see the frequencies represented on a piano keyboard. We have a phase balance, so we could see the balance between the left and right channels, as well as a level histogram and a loudness histogram. So you see how these new plugins, instrument, and metering options can really help with your productions in Cubase Pro 12.